No more room. That's the message from New York's mayor to migrants who've been arriving by the busload. Many sent here by Republican governors in states like Texas, Arizona, and Florida. More than 90,000 have been absorbed in the city since last spring. Many are fleeing poverty and in some cases persecution, hoping to gain a better life in the United States. We gave them a place to sleep. We gave them food. We ensure that the children were in our school system and incorporated into our school system. But we cannot continue to absorb tens of thousands of newcomers on our own without the help of the state and federal government. The city has received $100 million in emergency funding from the federal government. And volunteer organizations like Team TLC have been providing things like clothing, toys for kids, and legal advice. But the city is projected to spend more than $4 billion to house and feed asylum seekers throughout the next year. With homeless shelters at capacity, the mayor is saying he will now limit adult asylum seekers to 60-day stays. And the city is also passing out flyers like this at the U.S. southern border, warning migrants that New York is expensive and asking them to consider going someplace else. The flyer warns there's no guarantee of shelter, something advocates for the migrants contest. As a so-called sanctuary city that promises shelter for those in need, New York has been housing 55,000 of them as they begin the lengthy process of applying for work papers. When the city starts closing its doors while at the same time saying we're a welcoming city and we love immigrants, you know, you can't have it both ways. If we're a sanctuary city, if we welcome immigrants, if immigrants are the backbone of this city and indeed this country, then we have to find creative solutions, not just turning our backs on them. The mayor's move is unlikely to deter people like Eugenio from Venezuela. It's great here. Thank God we're in a place with a developed immigration process. We already have clothes and shelter at the hotel where they feed us. But Mayor Eric Adams says the city can no longer cope. Its compassion for migrants may be unlimited, but resources are not. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.